Episode 2 of VBS Virtual Boat Shopping. We're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great Loop with our kids and our cats. But first, we gotta find a boat. Today, we're gonna look at what are we looking at? Let's look at a boat that we both fell in love with, a queen ship. To do the Great Loop, which is a, a way to circumnavigate the eastern seaboard of the United States, your boat cannot be any taller than 9 foot 6 inches, is that correct, Mark? 19 feet. 19 six feet. Inches. I always do that wrong. 19 feet 6 inches to get under we'll the lowest... We'll be in a rowboat if we're in 9 feet 6 lowest inches. Lowest fixed bridge. And it cannot draw or be any deeper than 6 feet. Ideally, you want it less than 5 feet from the water line to the bottom of your boat. So it limits the boats we can look at. We are looking for a boat with at least three staterooms, well, with three staterooms, for our two little kiddos and a tutor, hopefully, and or maybe friends. Let's so here we are. This is a 1996 Queen Ship 59 for $459,000, located in Alexandria Bay, New York. Now this boat I've seen have you, have you here seen this one on Yacht World going back to uh, June of last year easily. Okay. The specs are 59 feet, LOA. Which is on the long side for the loop. Uh, 17 foot 2 inch beam, which is pretty sizable. Like draft, that. minimum draft is 5 feet. Now that's where you get into what do you need my minimum bridge clearance. 19 feet 6 oh, inches. Oh, oh, oh. So that's also so where you like, say, are you talking about with the with the satellite dome? Are you talking about with the radar? So you've got to you got to figure out what all that. But let's let's assume that this one is good to go on the loop. Personally, this one's going to be on the larger end, the largest end of our insurance. As far oh, as we've we been told, insured. I've been told we are good with my experience up to a 60 foot newer boat. So this is a 1996. And Queen Ship builds big, beautiful super yachts. Wait, is 96 considered a newer boat? It's newer than a 1980. <laughs> so yes. I consider like 2010 a newer boat. All right, let's get into it. What do you think about the outside? Uh, it's kind of a blend of shippy and yachty. It's, so it's, true pilot it's, house in its design. You have a pilot house here, uh -huh. pilot house door. I can't tell if it's you got a walk around. around. I like the... That looks better. More Euro. It's definitely more European in its styling, which I I prefer the shippy, but let's let's keep going. But it does remind me of an Altima, which we like. Oh, There's what you like. It's got a sexy stern. Is it is it by chance that the houseboat that I grew up driving <laughs> on Lake Lanier, 63 feet, watch was this, the dream watch maker? This be our boat and this is the dream maker. Okay. okay, I love this engine room hatch or lazarette hatch. I love hatch. the stern. I it's got a big yachty feel. It has a big yachty feel, which I love. It has um, a nice stern with a space for the kids to play, play. or fish. Staples or, yeah. here so Rex doesn't fall off while he's fishing. Just everybody's kind of safe on the back. I like that a lot. I see no teak. I see no stuff that we need to varnish. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. That makes it feel more... Okay. I love that it's the dream maker. Oh, that's nice. So this is the fly bridge. Mm -hmm. I don't see any hinging here, so I oh, so don't know what that 19 six. foot 6 means. But that's kind of basic but good. Yeah, there's no table. I don't see a grill. I don't see a refrigerator. All maybe things we, that I like on a fly bridge. Maybe we haven't seen it yet. Okay. I do see a bow thruster control. One like thing that. I want on whatever boat we're going we're gonna to do, it'll make life easier, is a yacht controller. I know. You really like that. I think that'll be... It's a handheld thing that controls like engines and bow game. thrusters, and I can be on the bow or the stern and watch everything as I inch by, and you have complete control of the boat. Yeah, in, from anywhere. You don't have to be at the steering wheel. Yeah. At the helm. All right, we're back on the cockpit. Okay, I like that little bench back there. I would set up a table and chairs. You can have a nice little dinner party, and you will be painting back there. So That's not... That's a small little bench it for a, a big seating it. Now, they, it's weird they do this. I've seen this on other that? queen ships. That is the, um, that pops up and this is a control for docking. Oh, so you're going to have random, like 87 right? ways to control your boat. Okay, and, oh, oh, Yeah, now I this interior is good. Okay. You love the wraparound, the 80s. Uh, you know what? If we bought this, I would totally run with the 80s decor. I do love some 80s. I like this interior. I do too. It looks So what I love about this the most is that there's this big open play area. So mm -hmm. uh, I Legos, do puzzles, yoga, the she kids can work could out. Play, like, 
I, we have little kids, they're six and eight. They, they're on the floor half the time. So it'd be a nice, a lot of boats don't have any floor space for better or for worse. And this one does. I you like also that. look at all that uh, storage right here. Oh. I don't know what's in there, but like it's it. not electronics because that's all up here. So that's cool. Uh -huh. I like the iPod docking station. iPod. That's, that looks co cozy. Yeah. That looks better than the shippy ones that and are then look, like the Fleming. You got stools here. That. See, that feels like normal living, but you know, like you're in an apartment. Residential. Not, yeah. It feels residential. That's fun. I like it. I nice like galley. It. That's uh -huh. very homey. I like it. And by homey, I mean good. I, you know, in my dream scenario, I put a Carrera countertop on and brighten Artwork it up. Artwork here is interesting, but being that I'm so, an artist, that, that obviously is not storage. Yeah, why isn't it storage? Because what's on the other side? But hey, for my art, it's where's a cool the, Where's place. the refrigerator? Mm, that's a good question. Is it across the aisle? Dishwasher, right. yes. Trash compactor will probably go away, but that's room for a wine fridge. Where is the fridge? I don't know. There's got to be a fridge. Got to be one. Okay, this love pilot that. House. Love that you've got two separate homeschool stations, which is genius. Mm -hmm. So the kids can be on opposite sides. Ooh, look at that wooden wheel. But it doesn't facilitate a dinner party for six. I need some place where the whole family can sit down and eat dinner. Okay. It's pretty bare. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't have a lot, but you've got room to add if you wanted to add another screen or update. Yeah, but they covered up all of the analog engine things with this screen, so they may have upgraded to a digital engine management system. All right, so you got starboard and port side doors. That's nice. Here's our DC panel, AC panel, or here are all the rocker switches, so this is okay. all the harder things. Those stairs are doable. Not ideal, but doable. Caterpillar. Hmm. Master, guessing maybe? that's us. Master bath, New very nineties. But I can run with that. Tile shower. See, it's a shame when people spend so much money. I assume people, somebody put this in a tile, we which can, can't be can, changed. No, it can be changed. Okay. It can absolutely be changed. Got a little bench. Uh huh. Shave your legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Nanny suite. Yeah. V-birth. Ceilings look really low in all of these photos. She has a vanity. I don't know if the photographer is really tall. Uh-oh, we didn't see. A third stateroom. Is there not a third stateroom? We'll have to look. Engine room door. Wah, wah. Wait. What? Wait. Description. Wait, you're going too fast. Well, I know it's down at the bottom. You sure you didn't just go past it? Master stateroom. Laundry upgrades, pump. I feel like it's at the very top. You go too fast. Go well. Okay, wait, keep, keep going, keep going. 18 to 22 knots. Accommodation. Queen of six, sleep six, and is a three stateroom, two head layout. All right, so it works. They didn't show us the third stateroom though. Must not be that good. Why do people not put the third stateroom? Because it's bonks, but I don't know. I like this. So thousand I'm... gallons of fuel. That's half the loop, roughly. Okay, so Dream Maker Queen Ship 59 foot is at the larger end of the spectrum. It's right in our sweet spots for money, but keep it on the list. I would totally keep that on the list. I would love to get on the Queen Ship. There was a Queen Ship that was on the market a few months ago that was a little, it was too, it was a too year deep. Ago. A year ago? Yeah. Well, it was basically this boat, but they had whoever oh. originally commissioned the boat did black suede. M nicer you know. details. This is this is great though. More utilitarian. I got to figure out where the third stateroom is, where the refrigerator is, where the laundry is. Time to call charity. <laughs> okay. Curtis Stokes and Associates. So the 1996 Queen Ship. Keep it on the list. It's still on the list. What should we look at next? Let us know. We're All right, gonna... that's a wrap on episode two of Virtual Boat Shopping with the Boomer Shines. Thanks for joining us. Bye, shine on.